Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here with the Katana Chronicles vlog. Uh, it's not actually late, even though I look like I'm laying down or something. But today I went to see. Oh, I, can, I don't even need to hold that. Uh, today, today, <clears throat> my girlfriend and I went to see uh, Power Rangers. She is currently at our friend's house. I actually came to get Sadie because we've been gone. Sadie, the lady, the lady. Gonna be on camera. Oh no. Okay. Well, there's a whole video of Sadie. Anyway, I just I filmed it earlier at random. It's nothing. Um, but we went earlier to see the the see the movie, and you know I'm gonna have to chop this up because I'm actually just waiting for the cable to come on because I'm trying to record uh, Samurai Jack, Samurai Jack, I don't know Jack, Samurai Jack uh, when it comes on the Cartoon Network Western thing because I missed it because we ended up going to the movie at seven. <clears throat> It was like 7.40 or something like that. And so we would have got out at like 9.40. So we went to the movie. It's Saturday. It's Saturday night. So we went to the movie. Completely sold out. Power Rangers was sold out when we got to the theater. So we had to get tickets for the 9.20 showing. So of course we got out at like 11 o'clock at night. And then we went straight to our friend's house. And let's see. Oh, Archer's on. But came here to get Sadie and to see if there's any way Ooh. first episode of Tokyo Ghoul came on tonight too for Cartoon Network or Toonami but I want to get t -t -t Samurai Jack and make sure that, that records because it comes on again at 2am so hopefully uh, I hate that I have to <laughs> it's such a first world problem but it's going to be in standard definition um, but I definitely got to see Samurai Jack tonight so that's really it for this part. I'm going to uh, cut to, I don't know when this is actually going to end up coming out because I actually have a shoot tomorrow at like 11 in the morning. So that's going to last pretty much all day. And so I don't know when I'll get to film my next part where I talk about you know everything else that happened when we were at the theater. But it was a bit more adventurous than expected. So that's why I'm doing the vlog around uh, having gone to see the movie. And actually, I'm wearing my Megazord shirt that I got from my uh, Loot Crate. So, I'm going to show that off too. But, that's pretty much it for this first part. I just wanted to do the opening while I had the chance because I don't know how things are going to go tomorrow. So, I wanted to make sure I at least started filming and then that way I could, you know, I know, like I have a definitive start already then I can just jump right into uh, the next part of the video. So, that's what you guys are going to get next and that's going to be like the sped through portion of everything, all the crazy stuff that actually happened while we were, um, excuse me, at the theater. It wasn't super crazy, it's just enough to actually talk about for a little vlog so that's what we're uh gonna be headed to next and i am gonna get out of here and take sadie Boop. i'll take her to be a bit more entertained so the footage you guys are seeing right now is my girlfriend and i we were at the theater um at the bar as i mentioned in the last uh little clip we got there at a certain time sold out had to go later so we decided because it would just take way too long instead of you know, going all the way back to the house, which would take about 20 minutes, which then would basically mean we have to come right back. Instead of doing all that, we were just like, all right, we were driving in the car. I was like, we should just stay at the bar. Like, that's all we can do because otherwise it's a waste of gas and a waste of time in general. So we turned right around. We ended up going back to the theater, sat at the bar, you know, talked for a little bit. Excuse me, my girlfriend got some drinks. I looked up some random stuff on Facebook. Some things you, you might have to pause it uh, because of how fast I might end up having to... Uh, speed things up, but there's some things that I showed off to the camera. I don't remember what they were because honestly, just to let you guys in on a little secret because I'm so far behind on this, I'm also just not filming this. Um, that was, I don't even remember, what, three weeks ago? Almost a month ago when we went to see uh, Power Rangers. I think it was like three weeks ago now. So, yeah, this is me doing it. This is actually my second time doing it because the first time, um, this part was just way too long, so I had to like redo it, and that was last week. So I just didn't sit down and do it, and I just been super bad with doing the vlog. So there's a little secret. I'm actually filming this as late as it's coming out. So this is a brand new clip. Everything else is old. This is actually the newest clip that I filmed for this actual vlog, and it's like super recent compared to everything else, which is like two weeks or three weeks old. But we were at the bar for a while. Eventually, um, I saw that the other theater was leaving out, so I was like, all right, cool, we can get in line now. Got in line, went to go to the theater, because I was like, man, with it being halfway sold out, and that was when we went to the 7 o'clock showing, I was like, I don't want to be late to this one, especially if we're in the theater. So I made sure once that big flood of people came out, waited probably like 10 minutes after that, 
And then it was like, all right, at like the 30 minute mark, it was like, all right, now it's time to get in line and then we get in. Because typically you can get into a theater 30 minutes early. So I got in line, uh, got popcorn and everything. And I went to the back and I was like, all right, you can meet me in the back. She finished her drink and everything. Uh, also, I have no footage of this, which is why you guys are still seeing us at the bar because that's all I got. <laughs> so get in line. And then we were waiting there for almost the full 30 minutes until the movie started because there were so many people because that showing was sold out ahead of us that it took them forever. Like they had to clean up so much stuff. So we got in line and we were still in line early. There are a couple of people ahead of us, maybe like 12 people in front of us. By the time they finally finished cleaning, there were a bunch of people. It was like basically the full theater was already in line waiting um, to get into that actual screening. So it was like at the last minute, it finally was like they officially decided it was clean enough. We got in, we got, you know, we packed all in, everybody was in the theater. And then things got really crappy because, of course, after that, um, we're basically sitting in front of a group of like teenagers. And it was a mix of teenagers and kids. They were all one group. They're just talking. Uh, not the whole movie, not like a ton, but more than enough to be annoyed. My girlfriend was annoyed. She was sitting in front of one of the younger kids who kept kicking her seat. And she let it fly for a bunch, and she was like, the fourth time was it. And she turned around and was like, can you stop kicking my seat? He stopped. But there were two people, like the teenagers in the group, I think. They were sitting like two seats apart, right? So it was like, we're here, and they're here. Or, or like, we're here. One person's here, which is like, my girlfriend's here. He's on like, behind her, one seat over. And then I'm right here, and there's another person behind me, another seat over. So there's like two people in between them. And they're talking across the two people. And they're the only ones talking. Like, the two people right behind us weren't talking. But the ones, like, at our corners were talking to each other across, like, two other people behind us. And it's like, wow, idiots. So it, it was annoying. So that's where we were for basically, like, the whole movie experience. Um, you know, my girlfriend already hated the movie. She hated Power Rangers. I personally thought it was fine. It was like, you know, whatever. Um, I thought it was a, a, a fine movie. I hope we get a sequel because I feel like what I liked about this first movie, they could really ramp up in the second one and make a great sequel, but I thought it was an average film, honestly. Uh, she just hated it, and I think the experience just made it worse, because it was never meant to be like a tour de force sort of experience and acting and all that stuff, so it was like, there wasn't much uh, to really distract her, <laughs> as far as like the people behind us, it wasn't like gravitas on the screen and all that, it was Power Rangers, it's campy and silly and then dramatic and stuff. It wasn't super epic acting. It was just like, this is good acting, but it's not like that serious type of movie. So it was just like, that's where we were um, in the theater, and it was annoying for her. She just hated the whole experience. Like I said, I was, you know, I kind of don't get bothered by stuff. And it wasn't like super crazy. If it was like they were just yelling the whole time, that would be different. Um, which reminds me of like when we went to King Kong, just to throw this in there real fast. There was a woman who had a baby that was crying just legitimately just crying like and she just waited and waited and waited for the baby to stop eventually it did and then eventually the baby started crying again and she left out and fortunately she didn't come back and she missed like the last 30 minutes of the movie uh the rest of her family was still there apparently my girlfriend like looked over at the husband and he would just look at her like like as if nothing was happening um so that was super annoying with them and the kids uh there was a kid i don't I she said he was just rubbing something on his jeans I swear to God, it sounded like he was opening a freaking rapper super, super slow. It was just like, shh, shh, shh. I, and she was like, he was just rubbing something on his jeans, just just like this. And it was just super loud. I legitimately thought he was like opening, trying to open a package really slowly. I was like, nope, just rubbing something on his pants. Little kid, just kid. So I was just randomly to throw that in uh, with King Kong, which is a great movie, but crazy experience. This is why I like to go to movies on Thursdays. That's just me. Thursdays and Friday nights, rarely see kids. You just saying. People are super nervous, they go early like me. We don't really have kids. And if we do, if we're at a theater, we're probably not taking them to see the movie. Unless it's like specifically a kids movie. Odds are you probably won't see kids uh, in the theater. But that was just a random little experience with that. Um, have another movie going experience that I'm actually jumping into. Uh, totally different clip. This is old footage. This is like, you know, I mentioned uh, the two weeks ago footage because I actually went to see Ghost in the Shell and I did film that. So I'm actually going to cut to that and that will be uh, the rest of the vlog is my day going to see Ghost in the Shell. It's basically literally like the one or it was like a two minute clip before I went to see the movie and then the rest of it is like right after the movie. So I'll let you guys jump right into that and that will be uh, the last, that's it, I think it's like maybe seven minutes or something like that. 
But those are going to be like the last bits of the vlog, just me talking about my time going to see uh, Ghost in the Shell. Alright guys, so I'm about to head out to see uh, Ghost in the Shell. It is about 9. The movie starts at 9.40. should get out around midnight, I would assume, including trailers and everything. Um, I'm, kind of, I'm excited to see this movie. I, I love the anime. I've seen the reviews. Um, I haven't actually watched it yet. I just looked at some titles. It's been it's at like 50% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. And it's just kind of meh reviews. And that's, eh, yeah, I don't really mind that. So I'm still looking forward to seeing the movie. Of course, I'll have my review out for that before I actually end up having this video out. So definitely check that out if you're interested. There's Sadie laying down, looking super sad and depressed. She's kind of been alone for most, well, I guess she hasn't really been alone that much. I don't know how long she's truly been alone, but I've only been here for like 30 minutes because I was doing, I was at a production meeting like all day. I went to work early this morning. I came back. I was here for like about 45 minutes and then I had to leave out for the meeting and I was there from like 3.30 to 8 something, about 3.30 to almost like 8.30, something like that. So I, I haven't really been here that much and then the last showing was at 9.40 because for whatever reason, it just doesn't have a, a lot of showings tonight. So I'm heading straight out to get to the movie and I'll do like a little quick synopsis of what I think without spoilers, of course, and you can get like my full details and reviews and stuff like that if you want to check out the review. But that's where I'm headed now and hopefully it's not too crazy. I doubt it will be, but it's the weekend. I don't know how many people are going to see this. I don't know how many people are going to be in line for popcorn and stuff, even though I eat some salads, which actually fill, they fill me up and I, I feel good. You know, I feel full off of some healthy salad, but... I still want popcorn and something to drink because I'm unhealthy like that. So that's where we're headed next, and this is the second movie adventure. And I really hope I enjoy this movie. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. All right, so just got out of the film. Uh, nothing special, if, if I'm being totally honest. I thought it was fine. Um, it just didn't, like, blow me away or anything, which admittedly I didn't expect it to, if I'm being totally honest. It kind of did exactly what I thought it was going to do, and that was, of course follow the film uh the original film and they did that and in that regard i think they totally captured it it just i guess because i'm so used to the film which admittedly when i first watched the film i kind of felt the same way like when especially when i was younger when i like first saw the movie i always thought it was like the crazy action thing and then it was like that's not at all what ghost in the shell is about so i actually kind of felt the same way except i feel like of course they played up more on the action but it was ultimately the same story. Um, I love the visuals. The visuals were phenomenal. Uh, the costumes I thought were good, especially for uh, Takeshi, who is the guy who played the head of Section 9. Uh, some of you guys might know him from Takeshi's Castle, which became, uh, what was it, MXC <laughs> um, on Spike TV a long time ago, which is hilarious. Or you might remember him as the crazy killer teacher from uh, Battle Royale. That's, excuse me, that's Takeshi. I forgot, I don't remember his last name, I forgot. But... He looked awesome in the whole movie. I think he had, like, one outfit. But he had a suit the, where the top was like a kimono. It was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. I was like, that? He looked sharp, like, 100% of the movie. Um, but I thought they did the costumes really well, and the visuals were great. The story I thought was fine. I don't think, you know, there really there was much wrong with it. It was just kind of normal. Like, it hit the paces, and that was pretty much it. I feel like they didn't explore as much as the original film probably because it's like oh it's a retelling of something that's classic so let's you know ramp up the action rather than you know the intense drama of it and that may have actually been a detriment to it considering the story of it and everything like that but I thought it was fine you know like I, I'm a, I'm I'm not like upset that I spent the money to see it or anything like that I'm like really down the line like if it was worse I'd be like well that was a waste of time but I'm like I'm glad I saw it I, I'm fine with the fact that I saw it I had a a troubling experience because I had to um I had to pee like most of the movie so I was like oh my goodness and I was tired I had like two struggles because I was super tired because I got up at like 11 this morning so I, I got up to go to work and then I was out like all day so when I got to just sit down I was actually getting tired during like all the dialogue parts and it wasn't even because it was boring it was just like okay if something isn't flashing in my face I'm starting to fall asleep because it's comfortable and like I had the reclining automatic reclining chairs and it's dark and it's actually quiet and I was like okay I gotta focus because I gotta pee but I'm also kind of sleepy and I'm like all right this is happening I didn't miss anything I didn't like fall asleep but I was feeling I was like oh man that being tired and being outside all day long is actually catching up with me when I'm finally trying to just relax and enjoy the freaking movie so I was like oh man I, I hope I don't have to fall asleep I hope I don't fall asleep or pee on myself 
uh, or even have to get up to pee, but made it through. I'm still holding my pee. Actually, I got this giant cherry Pepsi here. I didn't want to throw it away because if I go into the restroom, I was like, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to toss it after that. So wait until I get to the house so I can save it. But like I said, I think it was okay. Um, nothing super epic, nothing super horrible either. Uh, the action, actually, the action is actually really good though. Um, like I said, with it being Ghost in the Shell, I kind of, I definitely wish they focused a bit more on the psychological element of it. It was, of course, a main part of the story because of the main character, but not, you know, it, it wasn't like as big of a focus. It was kind of like they were going through it. It didn't feel like it. it's actually a two-hour movie. It didn't really feel like it, considering how many action sequences there were. And then it was like, all right, next part of the story, and it just kept going. I was like, huh, it's weird that, you know, with this story, it didn't feel like it was two hours to me where it was kind of going through it and then it didn't focus as much on the action or as much on the you know the psychological element like I was hoping for so that's really like my biggest complaint and they didn't focus as much on the human character I really wish he was in it more, way more because I actually like that character a lot and it's always you know you know it's like the top three characters of course the main character Bato and then um yeah major Bato and then the leader of section nine whose name I can't remember uh but the human character I always thought brought a great element to the series movies or you know the tv shows um so I definitely wish he had a bigger role to play in it. That's like my, honestly, that's my biggest complaint about the whole movie. I was like, I wish he was in it more. And that probably would have kicked up the element of, um, you know, the human side of it, where it's like cybernetics and not being cybernetic or augmented and stuff like that. Because they really dropped the ball on it. That's the biggest complaint. But, and, you know, I guess that, you know, that kind of takes it down a bit considering it's Ghost in the Shell. But like I said, didn't think it was the worst thing ever. Of course, I'm going to go into my full review and stuff like that. There was one part that I would like to mention. It's very minute spoilers. It's just gun-based. Uh, Magnums only have six shots, and I count it seven. That bugs me. And it's, That's like the one gun you have to count, like, because you have to manually load it. Like, the dude had six shots. Pretty sure I counted seven. I'll have to check some other reviews. Maybe I miscounted, but I'm pretty sure I heard him shoot seven shots, and he had a Magnum. I'm just like, nope, that don't work. But that's my thing. That bugs me all the effing time. I'm like, just count your bullets. Just just count your bullets. Anyway, headed to the house. Um, actually, yeah, I guess this would be the end of the vlog. So thank you guys for joining me for this vlog. I didn't think of that. I'm just you know doing my second part. Um, but thank you guys for joining me for this one. I know, once again, I've just been behind and behind. And I've been thinking about how I'm going to start doing the vlogs going forward. And I think I'm going to just start doing normal vlogs. Like, just... This is what's happening today because I always try to wait till something special happens, and that's why I never end up having a vlog ready. So I'm, you know, trying to get into just doing something good, even when I'm doing nothing special. So hopefully I can find a way to actually make that happen for you guys. But thanks for joining me for this, this random uh, movie going adventures. Um, of course, if you guys have any comments, please put them down in the comment section below. Um, I'm gonna try to get one. Like I said, this is basically the vlog for last week, and I'm, you know, once again behind. So, I'm not even going to say, like, I'll probably make one up really soon, but I'll try. I'll, I'll see what I can do. But thanks for joining me for this. Like I said, if you guys have any comments, please put them down in the comment section below. There's a person next to me, so I'm hoping they aren't looking at me like I'm crazy. Um, but thanks for watching, and I'll get into some better vlogs fairly soon. And I promised in the last one that this one would be way better, and it's, it's, not, that, it's not really that much better. But I'll try to make it better. Maybe I'll do one all with Sadie. I haven't done that one yet, so maybe I'll get to that uh, pretty soon. Bye. Thanks for joining me. Like I said, if you guys have any comments, please go down in the comment section below.